Good afternoon from Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in uh, semi-partly cloudy Lauderdale by the sea. Um, nice day out there and I tell you why it's a nice day because as you can see one two three four there are people on the beach. I think they finally opened up the beaches in Broward and uh, even though the day is not sunny that sure makes it sunny for me. Uh, looks like we're going to be opening up soon. Uh, hey before I start into our gold and silver report today can I remind everybody one thing support local businesses uh, I'm not saying don't go on Amazon, don't go to big corporate businesses because they have their place. But, you know, to get our economy rolling uh, and to uh, support our local economies, because when you spend with people locally, the money stays locally and it gets spent locally and local peoples are hired. Uh, so I would suggest uh, supporting your local mom and pop uh, restaurants and your local mom and pop businesses. Uh, let's move along here to Precious Metals today. And that's our web page there. Here we go. Uh, today's spot prices, um, 171479 down $15. It probably has something to do with some strength in the stock market. I don't know what the relationship is going on there, equity to old, equities gold. Uh, however, we're down 15 bucks today, and maybe there is no relationship there. I'm not sure. It just seemed to be lately. Um, could also do with dollar strength and dollar weakness. Silver currently at 1720 uh, up and up in the nickel, so silver showing some strength. That ratio uh, is probably just a tad less than 100 to 1 right now, 1714, uh, 79 to 1720. So the gold to silver ratio seems to be coming back a little bit more into line than it has been in the past. Uh, what are the ranges on silver? 1707 to 1750. You know, on a percentage basis, uh, when they make these swings, I mean, that's, that's uh, quite a big percent and so you got to have a strong stomach to own silver if you're watching it on a day-by-day -day basis but after a little while you realize these 50 cent and dollar moves uh, even though they're a large percent really seem to be insignificant unless you're day trading which I wouldn't recommend doing on precious metals personally uh, so let's take a look at platinum here platinum is uh, 835.31 uh, again trading in that $25 range you know for the last two three weeks we've been talking about $25 ranges even longer uh, 17. Let's see what range is this again. $25 range. It's been trading in that set, but we're over that 17 mark. So we're in that 17 to 1725. I think we're we've seen 1750 already pretty handily not too long ago. Same thing with silver. We've seen 1750 plus uh, there. But again, we're trading in these little uh, $25 ranges with platinum and gold. Let's see what's going on with uh, palladium. 1941 to 2044 dollars. So quite a big range between the high and low there. Uh, palladium trading under that $2,000 mark. Uh, we sell very little palladium. I don't really read a lot about it. I joke around about not knowing anything about palladium. I probably know more than most people do, but really it's not my expertise at all. Uh, but palladium seems to run more on uh, uh, industrial usage, it seems, and manufacturing usage. I could be wrong about that, but uh, my understanding is that that's where most palladium is used. <clears throat> as was platinum at one time. Palladium has took over platinum's role for industrial uses. I have heard that uh, they're talking about switching up and using platinum for catalytic converters again because of the cost of palladium is so high. Completely opposite of what they did years and years ago. Uh, so it's kind of strange. If that's true, they keep going back and forth from one to another. Uh, so that kind of covers it for Tuesday. Uh, after a long, rainy Memorial Day weekend here in South Florida, uh, it's funny, too, Mother Nature was able to do what uh, closures and shutdowns or making people stay at home couldn't do. It just rained here constantly for three days here. So we do see some sun, and as I said, it's beautiful to see people out there walking along the beach in Lauderdale by the sea again. Well, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day, and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow for tomorrow's update. This is Brian Kuzma with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in Lauderdale by the Sea. Uh, look forward to talking to you soon, and uh, give us a call anytime at our phone number, 954-493-8811, if you've got questions or you're looking to buy or sell rare coins, precious metals, uh, even collectibles. Uh, we own an antique and jewelry store as well. Uh, again, we're here 10 to 4, Mondays through Fridays. Love to hear from you. Have a good day. Thanks.